Hi there. I am about to get started here on episode 12 of this series, and in the interest of full disclosure, it has probably been two weeks since episode 11. I'm going to try not to let that happen again, but um, I had to do a little bit of refamiliarizing myself with what on earth was going on here, so bear with me. It might be slow going here, um, and my apologies for that. So... When I watched at the end of last episode, I think, sorry, I'm just kind of clicking around nervously. I think I had started with this concept of results parsing. So I'm going to put this string in here that I got back from, uh, from GitHub. And when I parse it, then I should have a single profile. So the long and short of it is if I look at the um, production code... I'm calling this inquisitor to execute a sh uh, this query and get me back the result string. And um, I'm taking that and doing some dumb things with it um, and then parsing. So none of this logic is really fleshed out. And, and what I realized in the interim, I did a little bit of research um, just out of curiosity, but I'll kind of show you more about it. So if you look at this, um, like here's, this is me. Here's what comes back when you uh, do the location-based search. It's not giving you everything you're going to need in order to get all the information that we want out of it. So um, I'm going to pull up the GitHub API guide here, bring it over onto the screen. And like, if you look at get single user, so this is this is where life gets um, a little bit better for us. You can get a company. Um, and let's see, I think somewhere in here you can get the first name and last name, login. Am I crazy? Let me zoom in a little. This might be hard for you to see. I can get a blog, an email, whether they're hireable. It, doesn't, it seems like you ought to be able to, to get the name here. Um, name. Oh, okay. Mona Lisa. Interesting. So uh, I guess name is just a single text field and the spacing and whatnot is up to you. That's probably reasonable enough. Um, so at any rate, I'm going to put this aside. And uh, what has to happen, I think, um, at least in the interests of, um, you know, getting something done and, and um, out the door comparably quickly, is that we're going to have to do a search where we do the location search and then we get this back and then we turn around and do a user search on this login. Um, I think that's what we're looking at here. So now I'm going to have to start driving um, this with tests that make sense uh, for that implementation. So when I supply location wheeling Illinois, then I should have a user named Eric. Um, that is going to get sort of uh, that that uh, that's going to get maybe harder to determine, um, but this test should remain true. So I guess um, we'll have to go with the convention in that name uh, parameter that the first thing you encounter is the first name. So um, I guess what I'm looking for is what's the next failing test that I want to write. Um, and right now I have some dumb logic in here. So if I look at the location search steps, uh, I'm creating this mock inquisitor. Um, let's see, I'm getting profiles from, oh, I'm just setting those in the context. So I uh, get profiles for location. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, find all profiles for location. So this is getting into where we're actually doing stuff. Um, so I could drive with an acceptance test. Let me see what profile currently looks like. I'm thinking what I might wanna do is start with an acceptance test that has something else on here so that I kind of have to get away from this hard-coded thing. And what's more is I want it to have something maybe that doesn't come back in our um, JSON. So here's what comes back in the JSON. Uh, I see, um, sorry, this is what I'm referencing. So I'm kind of doing a diff here. Uh, URL. Um, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I just do this. 
Oh, that's nice. Uh, so there's me. So it's actually giving you the U URL uh, to hit straight away. So that's interesting. That gives me an idea for a test to write. Um, which is if I look at profile searcher, it's calling this um, inquisitor. And I think this is an interface. Well, <laughs> uh, I GitHub inquisitor. So let me, I can do this cool thing in code rush to, I want to see the implementations. Here's my only implementation so far. So execute URL query. Um, I think, Let's see. Uh, let me call this something different. GitHub Inquisitor. Um, I'm going to call this something a little less. Uh, you'll see why in a second here. Let's say... Execute Location Search. That work? Kind of gets weird with the. I guess it didn't rename it in the interface. Uh, you know what? I should probably do this. That'll at least have a chance of renaming it ever. Ah, there we go. Successful. What don't you like? Rename file. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Rename file to match type. Forget these things sometimes. Ah, stop it. Let me get out of here. And what's your problem? Ugh. Should implement iDisposable. Why? Is this disposable? Uh, I'm getting down a rabbit hole. I'll figure that out later. Um, let me go back to my Trello board for, um, no, sorry, it's taking me a moment to find the right Trello board. Here we go. Do a zoom in and then bring it over so you can see it. So I'm going to say, um, clean up code rush warnings, just so I don't lose sight of that. That's done. Further and better implementation of profile searcher. That's a little vague. Um, so I want to say get email address back from GitHub. And that's in progress. That's my goal here for this episode. And eight minutes in, we'll see if it's reasonable or not, or if I'm screwing around too much. So I wanted to rename this guy. Um, it's being called in here because I'm going to have to do this search. And then this is actually going to um, get me back this URL. Uh, and I'm probably going to need some concept of JSON parsing. So this thing is going to give me the content as a string. And then I'm going to have to go mining through that content um, to find this URL. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, um, for each instance of the URL that I find, I'm going to convert, uh, instead of this content to string, I'm going to convert um, the result of another location search to string. So I guess what I'm thinking is I can, um, I can build out another method on this, execute location search. Uh, let's see. So there'll kind of be a, um, I guess, execute, uh, what am I doing here? So I'm confusing myself. I'm going to do the same thing, and I have a baked-in URL here. I could probably just pass in an arbitrary URL. But I'll think on that more in a second. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this failing test and say... Scenario Chicago search 
email only. When I supply location wheeling IL, have a user with email address. Now I'm going to decide here that I don't want this to go. Uh, uh, the way I'm going to make this green is to actually do it right. Um, and then I'm going to use unit test to drive that out as needed. So let's see. Generate step definitions always generates off, uh, off screen. What do I, uh, copy methods to clipboard. I'm going to open this guy and declare a new method. Uh, no. So first things first. Let's, uh, for goodness sake. And this is going to take a string email address. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll get the list of profiles from context. And then we'll assert there's one. Now this is not compiling because, or it's not passing because it's not compiling. So let's just declare that property. Um, now it's still not going to be passing because um, we don't know how to set that yet. Now let's think about what we need to do. I'm going to close this so we don't get confused. What do we need to do in order to make that happen with, um, all right, so we've got this, and then we've got the profile searcher. So right now, the profile searcher is executing this location text. It's getting back um, this big blob of JSON that's um, here in, where is it? Had it before. It's getting back this blob of JSON. And right now, all it's doing is saying if that JSON contains the string Eric Dietrich, all one word, then we're gonna parse it with that same JSON content. So that's not ideal. Um, what I wanna do is go into the unit tests here and we've got this profile searcher test, get profiles for location should. Um, I wanna start figuring out some kind of test I can add here that will drive out this functionality. Um, Let's see here. So I'm passing in the inquisitor. I'm not worried about the results par parser at the moment. What I'd like this production code to do, and this is where the test-driven approach gets a little interesting when you're dealing in externalities and non-trivial domains. It's hard to figure out exactly what the test. I don't want to get too implementation test specific, but um, I am interested in kind of mocking out this uh, quasi-externality here. So what I actually want to do is um, I want to pull this URL concept out of here uh, and then pass it back to the same, uh, let's see, uh, to the same inquisitor just in a different method. So what's a thin slice of that that I can do? I can say... Um, you see what I'm setting up in here. Get profiles for location. Okay, so I'm actually, kind of guiding what this returns here. So let's do this. Uh, this is not going to be fun. I wonder if there's a... Yeah. Bring Sublime Text over here and... This is not the greatest. I wish my uh, 
editing were up to snuff enough to make it faster to, um, uh, you know what? I don't actually remember how to do this. This is, I don't write enough code these days. That's a, <laughs> um, I wonder if there's an easy way to sublime text, remove white space. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's try this. Always better to automate, I suppose. Now, there might be something it's entirely possible for me to do in Visual Studio. Um, Single profile equals, oops. Uh, now with the string interpolation, I forget. Is it this guy? Clearly not. <laughs> uh, no. Oh boy, um, I am thoroughly embarrassing myself today. Let's see, C sharp escape string, string literals, come on. I was remembering it right. It is, oh, for goodness sake, stop. But now I broke Visual Studio. Uh, is it just the way that this is being rendered? Uh, maybe it's, maybe it can't be a constant. Maybe it just doesn't work. Uh, uh, Oh, you got, I see. Crap. Uh, sublime text. <laughs> uh, let's try this. Oops. All right. This is probably not what you signed up to watch, but... I can't pretend this necessarily goes well all the time. Well, hey, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I'm getting sort of towards the end of the episode. Let's um, see if I can get just a test passing here. Um, what should it do? So it should execute a... I'm going to say execute location search, execute a verbatim query. For URL value. And I'm going to say inquisitor, let's arrange. See, execute location search. <laughs> Any S byte, yes, because that is frequently useful to me. Returns, oops. And single profile. So we'll probably need to change this later since that's not actually going to reasonably be what it returns. Uh, let's say then I want to get doesn't matter. All right, that's green. Now, what was the URL here? Gist's URL. Interesting. This guy is what I want. So 
want to say assert. And what I want to assert is that the inquisitor I'm kind of not liking this. Oh, come on. Why would you do that? <laughs> I just typed in the parentheses and it just like ate my text. Uh, okay. With this text. So yeah, I'm not like necessarily digging this because um, execute execute sure sounds like a void method, and this is actually uh, not a void. Now I'm going to have non compile because it's not implementing the interface. So I want to. Man, there are so many. Used to be like pretty easy to do this. Uh, implement interface is what I'm looking for. I don't know what's happened in more recent versions of Visual Studio, but every time I need to do this, it becomes sort of, no, I don't want to extract. You know what? That's a bummer, but um, as it turns out, it's just going to be easier to do this. And that is kind of sad. Needed to be public. <laughs> All right. Build canceled. What? Oh, that's interesting. Somehow somebody threw one in there for me, just not where I wanted. So let's do another build. Now, this test is failing. And let's see here. I guess I could make it pass by. Uh, Execute verbatim search. Oops. Now that should get our unit test to pass. I'm going to call that a wrap here and then start in a um, subsequent episode. What you're not going to see me do is commit this code because I have a failing acceptance test. So in the next episode, look for me to get this um, uh, over to passing state. So tune in and you'll see me right back here because I'm just going to keep going.